Welcome to Two Burrows, Two Bros. <laughs> I'm Matt Pavich. I'm Peter Ravello. This is episode four, baby. We did it. Jeez, well, it, they we said it, it couldn't be four. done. They were like, there's so many people were like, you are never going to make it to four. We proved them all wrong. Don't you feel dumb? Don't you feel dumb out there? You f- uh, I'm a, we're loving it. We're going to, and four is going to come easy. Four is easy, dude. This is going to be the easiest one. Easily the easiest one. Easily the easiest one, number four. Yeah. Will we get up to number seven? I don't know. Who knows? I know we're getting to five. We know we're getting to dad. five. Dad. Told you, pops. My dad was like, buddy, you can do a lot of things. You can't get to number five. And I said, Dad, will you watch? Just- you watch, old man. <laughs> You watch. I'll podcast. I'll have a, f- a fifth episode of the podcast. You crying? started laughing. Are you crying? <laughs> Sorry, I get emotional uh, yeah. talking about the number five. Yeah. What happened with the number five? It is a strange looking one. You know, there's not a lot of symmetry there. No. I mean, everyone has a different five, too. No. What would you... What, what, what? <laughs> What do you mean everybody has a different five? Everyone's handwriting is different. Oh, I see. Yeah, I thought you meant like everyone has their own five. I, was, I didn't understand. Um, There's a lot of people that don't have five in the comedy business. They don't huh? have five. That was pretty good. Yeah. A lot of people that think they have five minutes and they don't. No. Let's name some names. Mm, no. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> this week, I, I don't know. I've been very brazen. I, I It's hard to like, because I feel like you want to say whatever you want on a podcast. And, no, like, don't say that. That was a trap. I was just messing around. I know, but there's a part of me that feels like that's that, that's how it's done. You sort of let it go. Let it all go. But let I'm it like, fly. Fuck. Um, you know, what if someone listens? To, I don't think anyone's going to like, you know, I don't expect other comics to listen to this or anything like that. And then when they hear it, they go, Peter's a dick. Peter, what the fuck, man? I'm like, and they can't fight you. You're a big guy. That is true. Like, I should use my physical, um, I don't know, ability, like, or like my, my, my stature. I should use yeah. that more. Like, what Intimidate the fuck are you going to do? You're just a little shit. Yeah. With autism. Whoa. Well, a lot of these guys, they have it. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I think it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't let me finish. Hey, come okay. here, you little shit. You live with autism, which I wish I had. You lucky fuck. Okay. Now I'm going to pound you. All right. Because I'm jealous. <laughs> so that's, yeah. Yeah. But they do. You know, That's probably, I don't think that's a, I don't oh. think it's a careless generalization to say that a lot, a lot of, of comics, stand-up comedians have, are on the spectrum. I would say that's fair. I would say that's fair. Right? Yeah. They they lo- they kind of hone in on it. Yeah, and they they, love and they the, write these jokes and they're good with numbers in them, <laughs> trains, <Five>. planes, <laughs> automobiles. Uh, just th- naming planes. <laughs> <laughs> but some of them, yeah, it's uh, and then they do crowd work and they fall apart. They're just fall like, apart. Like, you stop. You shut up. Yeah. You shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm working on this joke. <laughs> hey, let me do my act. <laughs> And the guy was, it's not even like a mean heckle. It's like, that was a good one. He's like, you, you shut the fuck you up. Shut the fuck up. I'm recording this for Instagram reels. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were talking of that's, that was on Tom Cassidy's podcast. Boo. Yeah, that guy's. No. <laughs> Boo, Tom Cassidy. <laughs> He's a great guy. And I've, I've recorded two podcasts with Tom Cassidy that I have not released. I think, yeah, it was two, so. Um, or maybe three. I it might be three. three. Yeah. Because the first time, it, the something happened where he said something crazy. Second time, he said something even crazier. And the third time, I was just like, this isn't, I'm not going to put this out, dude. <laughs> you're too wild. Is it, he thinks you're supposed to just say wild things on podcasts. He doesn't understand the the podcast uh, world. It has worked for some people, I think. But I, I, I don't know. Like, what is the difference between what he's doing and I guess someone in Cumbtown. I guess I mean I don't know. Well, he literally I, well, qu- he idea. literally quoted. I love Cumbtown, and he literally quoted something that someone else said on a podcast. I don't mean to shit on you, Tom Cassidy. I love you very much. I'm happy you got married. Your wedding was fantastic. I had a great time. I danced the night away. What were you gonna say about Tom? No, he's a great man. I'm just surprised you hate him so much. <laughs> <laughs> he lived in this house. Wow, that's true. I fr- I've heard tell of this that uh, you would you would like kind of like a. Like an orphanage, you would just kind of yeah. I would just like let these comics in. Comics and my my uncle lives upstairs, Uncle O. But he thinks comics would live with your uncle. Yeah, not in the same room. They'd have their Obviously, own room. Yeah. But my uncle would break in and steal their alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I, I, but allegedly, how, but how he, much he was the rent? To Did the rent go down? The rent was it was cheap, so cheap. Yeah, yeah. It's like, okay. Especially for Astoria. Yeah, you can pay what? How much was it? About three hundred dollars a month, and you have to. Just, I think it was like four fifty, but still, I mean, really good. shekels compared. And, but and also, my uncle will steal your change. He will go in your room and steal your nickels. That is part of the rent. It's a tax. It's a tax. Yeah, it's I, and it's tough because you can't be like, "Hey, you stole my nickels," because then you're like kind of a loser. Where you're like, "You really what?" And your uncle's like, "Yeah, well, you, you count the nickels? nickels. You count nickels. Gonna, what are you count nickels? I'm gonna be questioned by a guy. I'm gonna be accused by a guy who collects nickels. nickels. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that yeah. might be a direct quote from my uncle. But it's true. Nickels. I would never steal nickels. Quarters, okay, but nickels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, right. He's like, no, there's no way. I would never. It's like, yeah, I, I don't know. But, you know, that's maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Maybe know? he did. Maybe he didn't. My yeah. uncle's in shambles right now. Really? Croatia just lost oh, to sorry. Argentina. He's having a rough one. Yeah, but they, that's, that's you know. I told him we had an incredible run. Let's root for Morocco. You know, this shit happens. We shouldn't Matt, have he's even like, been. Take me to the George Washington Bridge, Matt. <laughs> Take and step on it. <laughs> From this day, I'm no longer a Croat. Stop it. What's your uncle? Stop name? it. I just, I don't know. Maybe you don't want his name out there. Just call him Uncle, Uncle oh, Pavage. Uncle O. Uncle O. Yeah. A Turn legend. that frown upside down. Turn that frown upside down. Have a Foster's. You're going to be all right. Oh, is that? Yeah. That's his beer of choice. The, the thick Foster's cans. You know Jeez, what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, the, the, it's Australian, but apparently Australians look at that and they go, that's disgusting. Yeah, Australian for beer. You talk to an Aussie about it, they're like, we've never had a Foster's never. in our life. <laughs> but I, I, yeah, I, I'm sorry about uh, the, the Croats. I'm sure, you know. It's okay. Well, 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 what else do you guys have to look forward to now? So I guess, um, <laughs> uh, you know, you guys, well. The we were first in the world in water polo. That is so wow! I didn't. Yeah, but I looked at the map of Croatia. Uh -huh. Pretty weird. What do you mean? Like it, because it starts and then it, it kind of takes coast. all the coastline. The whole coastline. That's why Yugoslavia was so mad. I'd be pissed off too. But yeah. you can't just take the prettiest part of the country. You took it all. That'd be like New York breaking away from the U.S. and just being like, "We're going to take uh, whatever's on the coast. I don't know what's on the coast. Boston, Jersey. Uh, yeah, Jersey. yeah. We're going to go all the way up to yeah, we're Maine. Go up to Rhode Island. Yeah. Except that's not as nice of a coast. It would be like Florida seceding." And taking North Carolina, South Carolina, and just being it's like, "It's all is our beautiful, own thing. buddy. It's all beautiful in man. its own way. It's all yeah, it's you're absolutely gorgeous. right. I love life. I love gorgeous. Living. But yeah, so I, I thought it was like kind of a scumbag move on Croatia's part to do that. I mean, a little. I we mean, wanted our freedom, <laughs> but you took other people's freedom to go to the beach. Like you have to cross into <laughs> another. There's like a foot. You have like a, a, a the width of of like maybe like ten feet. Uh huh. And you're like, that's Croatia. That's Croatia. And then you all know, coast. You're like, the whole thing's that? coast. Islands. It's beautiful. Yeah. I don't know who let that slide, but Croatia got a good deal. So maybe he, yeah, your uncle O should buck up. Buck up. We got the whole coastline. The he whole fought coast in that war. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. He flew to oh. Europe. He was in he America. Was in America. He like, flew going. to Europe and found a way to fight in the war against Yugoslavia. Now I understand why he's upset. He's a hero because that that Croatia like yeah you fight for the like it's like if Italy went to war or I'm like I'm not not going especially they're on the wrong side those Italians Mussolini not always when well uh, the first World War they were I think they were they were with us is that the true Allied. well honestly even after even in World War Two they 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 were out of the war at like 1943 and then they have like they had a, a revolution they had a, a civil war going on I didn't know that yeah. And oh, then, that Mussolini ran to race to rose to power? No, no, no. They, it was after Mussolini. It was 1943. They got their ass kicked by, like, Ethiopia. Like, there was a couple, like, embarrassing episodes for the Italian army. Uh -huh. And then, uh, yeah, they just kind of collapsed. And then there was um, a civil war mm -hmm. between, you know, the people who were, like, the monarchs and people who were for the fascists. Uh -huh. And, um, yeah, and so then there was some Italians fighting for the Allied and some for the Axis. I had no idea that happened. Yeah, Look he, at that. Listen to the, the that's two what boroughs. You learned some shit. That happens when you read. That's good for you that you read about your own country. <laughs> it's not even, yeah, I don't know. It's not even uh, my country. I'm I such told, a mix. I know? told Peter it was fucked up that he didn't congratulate me against when we beat Brazil. And he said, you're not even a full blood. 
<laughs> it's true. I know. You're not even you're not even a full Croat. I know, but it's still funny. Yeah. I thought it was worth mentioning. No, I appreciate you giving me a shout out, but I do yeah. feel that way. You should not take any pride. I shouldn't? No, not maybe a half bit, pride. Half pride. <laughs> yeah. A half amount of pride is my dad. The percentage, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You go, all right, it's pretty good. Yeah. But it's crazy. Your uncle, if he fought for the for the Croatian, uh, well, I mean. What? Army, yeah. And it was not like, it was like a militia, dude. They had no tanks. They were like. Just guerrilla warfare. Getting guns from. Where? Who knows? Interesting. Yeah. Wow. And he, how long was he over there? A few years. Damn. Yeah. I can't imagine liking anything that much. Right? No. I he moved here when he was like three. Yeah, like you... He would go back every summer. He has extreme nationalist pride, but that's but, a wild thing to do, man. He's yeah. a wild boy. And for years. Yeah. And then you come back to America. He stayed in Croatia for a little bit, and then he, he eventually came back. Yeah, to you would America. think you'd stay in Croatia. You'd kind of reap what you've sowed. Of you course. Know? You're like, yeah. all right, I'm a war hero now. Yeah. Maybe you, get, maybe you get a nice Croat lady. You get a couple sandwiches here and there. People say, hey, take a sandwich. They could say... <laughs> Uncle, I'll take a sandwich. <laughs> you deserve you it. You did the right thing over, you know what I mean? You're like, thank you. I did what I can do. A couple of Karlovachkos at, uh, that's a beer. Karlovachko. Uh, Karlovachko. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's wild that he did that. And then he came back to the United States because I, I just, um, yeah, I feel like I'm fighting for the country. Uh, yeah, right I'm, I'm staying here now. Yeah. yeah this is, this yeah, is yeah, my yeah. place. Hundred percent. I will, I will, they'll ask me to leave and I'll say, is there thanks I get? You would say, uh. Do you remember <laughs> when I fought in the war in Croatia? He's like dancing, moonwalking. Dancing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's like, oh, that actually was a fun time. No, like, no, no, not a fun time. Okay. Genocide. Uh, See, I didn't know that. You didn't know that about Italy. I didn't know that that was not so fun over there. Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. There's three religions in the former Yugoslavia. Muslim. Muslim, Orthodox, and yeah. Catholic. I like the, the Catholic Bosnian. one. <laughs> I don't That's know why. the Croatians. Oh, really? The Croatians were Catholic. I'm the being Serbs, too hard on the Croats, man. Fuck the Serbs yeah. were Orthodox, and the Bosnians were predominantly Muslim. And uh, the Serbs uh, committed genocide against both countries because they wanted people to be Orthodox. What? Same religion. Orthodox, Catholic. Even so the Catholics? Close. Yeah. Even the, the Catholics. You know why? Bosnians got it way worse. Bosnians got it way worse. But that, still. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand. Uh, I've noticed um, if you're like Protestant, mm -hmm. like the the other cat, like uh, the other Christian denominations, they look at Catholicism like they're like gypsies or something, because they like they pray to objects and stuff. Yeah, and they, like, they look at Mary and they, it is it is uh, uh, pageantry and like uh, a little uh, pagan, if you will. Like, yeah, I think it's cool. I wanted to go to a Catholic church so bad when I was a kid because it was only like 30 minutes long. We used to go to these churches that were like six hours, dude. 30 minutes. No, we had like an hour. But it was even, a, it even, was, even an hour. That, yeah. that felt great compared to the church we went to, dude. Two and a half, about three hours, I'm talking about. No. People speaking in tongues, falling over. What? Yeah, catching the Holy Spirit. Is that, were your parents born again? My mother has been... Pentecostal? Uh, I don't even know what she's been. So many denominations. It's it's uh, right. She's still figuring it out. Exactly. Yes. But she's not a Catholic. No. 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 So that's wrong. Not that it's wrong. She just uh, not her thing. Not her bag. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, it was quick. Yeah, like an hour in, and uh, like you know, you're and it out. Moves. It moves. We do this. We sit down. We stand up. We yes. eat a cracker. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's a whole. You guys don't eat schedule. The, you guys it. don't eat the, the body of Christ. We would eat like real bread. Well, that mean, seems better. It seems like a marked improvement. <laughs> instead of this little I shitty. Wanted the, I wanted the wafer so bad, dude. Melts like, on your like tongue. It's like styrofoam. It was awful. Melts on your tongue. Really? I wanted to be Catholic so bad as a child because we went there a couple times when we didn't have a church to go to. In and out, dude. No potluck afterwards. Oh, we don't no, know no, a no. single do person there. No, you get out. You, you get, get out. out. Another mass is coming Another in. Another mass Come is let's coming go. in. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Light the candle, throw the water. Let's get the fuck out of here. The frankincense was always cool. Oh, yeah. I was like, when they busted that thing out, it was like yeah, a yeah. thing on a chain and they would just smoke out the place. Smoke like, it out. Yeah, I don't know what this Jesus is. Jesus is coming. He's coming, pal. Yeah. And he stinks. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, we got to light some incense. The guy hasn't <laughs> showered in years. It's sad. Um, yeah, but uh, we that was the best time to, to get laughs. So I always feel like that was always fun. In church, when you're making, uh, you like, I would go with my brother and my sister, and like, uh -huh. we can make each other laugh. Oh yeah, 
that was uh that was when my my mom always says this cute thing about like I knew you were gonna be a comedian because we would leave church and we had this minivan, a maroon minivan, and uh, as soon as the car door would close, I would just start ripping on the whole thing that happened. Just ranting. Just ranting, doing <laughs> doing accents, fucking impersonations of people at church. That's nice. Yeah. And I like to, and yeah, how old were you? Or the probably, Young, yeah. 10. Just being yeah. like, this shit's, so, and your mom's like, this is hilarious. This, she still laughs. She's like, I want to pray to Satan. This shit's, so, I hate the, I hate God. I hate Jesus. That priest, you don't have priests. What do you have, reverence? We had all sorts. Pastors. We had pastors. Uh, this one guy was Pastor Peter. Pastor Peter. Yeah. Wow. Was he cool? No. No. He hated Harry Potter, dude. He used to say, oh, man. Harry Potter was the <laughs> devil. <laughs> And I would just Come laugh. On, I would say, I would say, what are you talking about? It's so tame compared to what you'd find in, in the, the Bible. Bible. Yeah, there's no, you know, there's no uh, like what is that? He, 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 I forget what it was. Sorcery? Sots? No, it wasn't that. But it's just sodomy? Like, no, but it's, I forget. <laughs> there's no sodomy in Harry Potter. There's no sodomy. Well, I mean, Dumbledore was like alleged to be gay, but that's, that, I mean, that's that's consensual that's not, sodomy. That's not what they're talking about in the Bible, right? Yeah. It's called, but in the Bible, yeah, there's this guy had sex with his daughters. They had the, a lot of incest, a lot of, a lot of killing and, you know. Yeah, uh, all sorts of bad shit. And hey, you know, if I had a kid, I think I'd rather them read Harry Potter instead of the Bible. <laughs> you know? I think. <laughs> but then again, you have all this J.K. Rowling stuff now where she's like a, a turf. She is a turf. Which is a cool, like, I know you don't want to be a turf, but it sounds cool. No, like not, I'm a turf. Not on this. I'm pod. not saying I'm a turf. Don't just, say that. We're having fun. <laughs> we made it to the fifth episode. <laughs> no, I know. Slow okay. down. Okay. All right. You're right. This is only the fourth. We got to make it to the fifth. But I'm not saying I'm a turf. I just like the way, like it's a cool sounding name. Okay. Like phonetically. Phonetically. Yeah. It's you like, like it? Like nerf. Surf. Turf. Perp. Nope. <laughs> 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 it, was, it was close. It was close. Um. Yeah. Like surf and turf. Nerf. Nerf. Nerf gun, those were fun. Yeah, and then that's, well, that, that's but that's I only have stops. three, but that's all. That's where it cool. stops, and they're all cool. They're things. all cool. Surf and turf and nerf. Surf and turf is um, yeah. lobster and <laughs> J.K. Rowling hangs ten. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no! Watch out, surf and turf. Watch uh, out. Yeah, but it is wrong. Uh, not. Uh, you know, like uh, having those views. Who cares? You know? Who cares? I'm a cool guy. Yeah. I don't care about anything. I don't know why people care if they're trans, if people are Do what you want. I don't. It's I, not like. I've never, ever, ever cared. No. Do what you want. Whatever makes you happy. You only live once. You know, let's have some fun. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand it either. Because I, I felt like I could understand where anger would come in if like you you're trans and everything gets like a lot easier and they're like you get money or something like that couldn't be further from I the know, truth I know and it's like it's not that's not the case yeah and they were trying to JK. say that about uh, what's her name the Kardashian that, sw- that transitioned like when she won woman of the year that was some bullshit but like that's an extreme example of a uh, oh, trans- Caitlyn Jenner you mean Caitlyn Jenner getting you know getting things yeah a woman of the year did she win w- woman of the year <laughs> times woman of the year she's woman for six months yeah i think you were like yeah you could be i think why not you can complain not complain about her being trans you can complain like maybe you put it in like let's see how good of a woman you can be exactly it's only six months you know you have a six month thing yes uh a test period of uh you know sample size what have you done lately caitlin jenner she hit somebody with her car that was before that was before she was a- oh so then wipe the <laughs> clean, clean slate. slate. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. New license. That's it. Different photo. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's, um, I'm trying to think about like anything about Catholic church. That was, a, that was pretty cool. That was really about it. I, st- I stopped going. I like the, the, the bench 15. That, that folds down so you can get on your knees. I the thought pew. Was the pew. I thought that was very cool. Yeah, then you um, pray like I you love the gold. Things. There was stuff to look around. The the stained windows. glass is cool. Stained glass is awesome. Yeah, I'll give you that. Stained glass is awesome. Stained glass is awesome. Whoever's making that stuff, A plus. 
Yeah, they should make more stained. I'm going to get some stained glass in the house. Honestly, that would be kind of dope. Is it expensive? Yes. Probably, yeah. yeah it it is. Is. You yeah. can get the fake stain. It's plastic. but people no, 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 no. But then people come over and they go, what is that, fake stained glass? My dad knew a guy. He was in the Hells Angels. He, his, his son was, um, he had a gay son. They beat him up. They, they killed him. And uh, they kind of like, I don't know, I guess that made him reflect and he became more like a sensitive guy and he started making stained glass we got stained glass from him it's actually pretty cool that is cool he was like a hell's angels guy who made stained glass tragic tale but cool that he's making stained glass now yeah i guess that was a bit of a bum i should stay i could yeah let's, let's keep it light keep it light <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, yeah i always forget that people are not um that people are, don't want to deal with this kind of stuff i don't know what's like a happy thing that happened to me recently. um what happened give me something happy so i'll give you something Oh, um, you know, I don't know. I'm nothing, gonna. I nothing just try a latte. Is pretty good. Nothing better than that. You can't <laughs> think of one thing better than your dad's friend's son, yeah. son dying. Um, something. Did I have a parking ticket lately? You hopped, yes. hopped the subway? I did. I did get out of a park. I parked in a, in a commercial parking only uh -huh. area last night. Went downstairs. No parking ticket. There you go. God is See? good. God is See? good. See? That's why you go to church, bud. Yeah, yeah. Pray away the tickets. <laughs> I do like that when Muslims say God is good. It's kind of like a fun... I want to start saying that. All the time. You got to say God is good. good. And then all the other person says all the time. Yeah, and like, is that is that He is wrong? risen. Well, that's us. That's the less. Yeah. Muhammad, I don't think he... Oh, you were saying that... Like I, for like for what the Muslims do, I kind of like what they're doing with the God is good. God is good. But the Christians yeah. do that too. They say God is good, and then the other person says all the time. All the time. Well, God is good most, I would say... Had less than half the less time. Less than half. Oh, yeah, I don't know. They should amend that. <laughs> should. God is good. Sometimes. Yeah, I don't think he is... <laughs> I don't think he's like a nice guy. Like if I feel like if he does exist, like he doesn't care. Is okay. that fair? About... Any, like more... He he's busy. Care. What's he busy with? But don't you think that too, like... All right, so you created, so he created us, and uh -huh. we've been on this earth for how long? Uh huh. It's the same story over and over again. It's too much. Like, how do you think he'd be bored? He's just like, what is the? They're killing each I've other seen again. It. I've seen oh, it. Oh, they're cheating, and then they're not cheating. Oh, there's redemption. Like, it's yeah. It's all, I see what you're saying. It's the same. How we get bored? They're killing the Jews. Why yeah. are they doing that again? Here we go. Here we go. This My is, people. There. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So you're saying like God is bored. Like, I'm out. Yeah, he probably is. He like, checked out. He's playing video games. <laughs> yeah. He's doing some VR. Yeah, he's doing VR like this. Now this is <laughs> sick. You Thank can, you, Meta. He can Thank create. you, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> this is fun. This is a world I couldn't create. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is awesome. He's just like feeling it. He's like, he's like his avatar, you know? He's like, yeah. I finally have a body. Yeah. I'm going to go to the store. Oh, look at me. I'm human. I think look he at me. <laughs> he's like the little mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a little fairy. He's like, God's a fairy. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like this is who I am. Yeah. I feel sexier when I have a tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, God is a furry. I'm glad we figured out religion. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess he's, I don't know. That's just how I feel about certain things. No, I, I'm, I'm with you, man. You know? I, I, uh, I hate this stuff. <laughs> you know, you know, I was uh, saving myself for marriage in high school. Wow, that's very it's it's that's noble. It's a surefire way for people to call you gay in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially when you're in Queens. Or like, you're I wasn't in out. Queens. I was in a LaGuardia High School of Performing Arts. Oh, you went there? Even I thought they. Gayer. Wow, yeah. and they were even giving you a hard time. Oh, hundred percent. Oh my like, god! Just tell us, dude. Just come out. We're all gay. Come you on. You went to LaGuardia. They were the most. That's like the very um, progressive. Even then, I'd imagine when you were in high school, they were still very. They're super progressive and super <laughs> liberal, but they were like, dude, just tell us, you know. No one's saving themselves from marriage. Just uh, come on. They were right. They weren't calling. They weren't like you're gay. No, no, they weren't saying it bad. They're like he's gay. He's gay. Yeah, yeah Matt. He's mad. He's gay. Yeah, Isn't that great. He won't come out, but he is. And you're like, I'm just saving myself. It does seem like a gay thing to oh, say. Oh, 100 <laughs> percent. Be like, I love girls. Okay, <laughs> let's just get something straight. I just, I I can't stop I just, thinking about Jesus. Them. Won't let me touch them. If, if, listen, if, if there's any other way, yeah. there was just, you know, I wish it was different. I'm also uncircumcised, and I was like, a, there was a very small population of uncircumcised boys in high school. Yeah. And one time they were like, no way, when they found out. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, you have to show us. 
<laughs> and we were at this party on a roof, and I had to whip out my dick and show them my uncircumcised <laughs> limp dick, dude. Like, why couldn't you just go? It's a where like I'm saving myself. You can use that excuse again. Like yeah, I'm saving my, I'm saving, I'm saving <laughs> some of my uncircumcised penis to people for marriage. They gave you a leeway. I for didn't that. think of that. I was hammered. We were drinking forties and. Uh, smoking blunts and yeah. they, everyone made me whip out my dick on a cold roof. Wow. What a popular guy you were. So everyone was so invested in your sexuality and they wanted to see your penis. I was quite sounds popular like, in Sounds like high a good high school. Yeah, experience. Yeah, I had a great time in high school. I, I, I had the time of my life. Maybe I peaked in high school, honestly. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. I was a drama major and, people and were those like, are the cool kids in LaGuardia. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. And they're like, this guy, man, man, he's... It's dark, man. I mean, he's, he can access things. He's got an edge emotions. to him. He's yeah. got edge, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, and then you just started showing your uncircumcised penis to people, you know. They asked. Without the masking. No, no, no. I never did that. <laughs> I never did that. Then I went to Hofstra University, which is in Long Island. Yeah, I know. And I couldn't have been less cool, dude. Well, because I you went, went from, from a performing yeah, arts high school. To a business like, school. To, yeah, to like... Broy, Brodom, like all the like six four roided out dudes were the cool hot Fuck kids, yeah. and I was so confused. I was like, no, 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 I'm, I'm cool. I do <laughs> you just theater. Scarf. You really go at yeah, yeah. like, you. No, no, I do theater. <laughs> I am cool. I went to LaGuardia High School of Performing Arts. You've never heard of it? How nah, weird. Nah, you ain't cool until you drink. You got to drink a forty. Make it two forties back to back shotgun bang bang. I like. I would not like to do a case race <laughs> because I'm a theater major. You're doing a case race, all right? Case closed on the case <laughs> race, all right? But we didn't do this on the Upper West Side. Upper West Side, the fuck you're in fucking Suffolk County, my is guy. Is it Suffolk? Yeah. It's not Nassau. No, Hofstra's in Suffolk. God, I think. that place I think is, it is a dump. Oh my God, Hempstead! What a fucking oh, maybe it's brutal part of town. Yeah, Long Island is. Um, I it, it, yeah, you can get like stuck out there. People kind of get afraid to go to the city. Like, oh, you going to the city? Yeah, like, they look at like it's the city. I love yeah, when they oh, call it man, the city. What the heck's going on? It's like under this cool shit, I guess. Hofstra had the highest rate of STD STDs of any other school in the country. How did, <laughs> and it and this is how they figured it out. This is what I found out when I went Hofstra, there. We fuck. This is what I found out when I went there. Everyone's like, you're going there? It's dirty. And then I found out that the way that they find that out is the closest uh, STD clinic in the neighborhood of right. the school. And they get the and stats And they get their stats there. So it's not really, it's a loaded stat because Hempstead is, you know. It was for godless, you know, maybe for, um, yeah, people who just are disgusting. It's not a great, it's not, a, it's not great. Yeah. And, uh. So that so that was what everyone would say on campus. They'd be like, "We're not the dirtiest school. It's just the neighborhood that we're in." <laughs> and I was like, "We're all pretty dirty, dude. It's pretty bad. There's dollar beers, and we're playing flip cup with a ball. I mean, uh, beer pong with a ball that's bounced around this frat house for ten years. It is pretty gross. I can't believe we do that. And you get and there's sicker. a water cup, and you just dip, you just dip it, it in. in the. It should yeah. It should be. Um, it really should be sulfic, like uh, acid. It should be hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah, it should be hand sanitizer, which would get you more drunk. Yeah. So Dude, yeah, wait look a minute. At us. No, yeah. Shark so tank. If you yeah. <laughs> listen, sharks. You're have right. you ever played beer pong? <laughs> yeah, you're tired of getting those random hair, those stray hairs on your ping pong balls. Have you ever got syphilis at a frat party? <laughs> yeah, MRSA. MRSA. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, and Mark's like, yes. I am. Mister Wonderful's of it. like, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, those guys. I love. I love. Um, Shark Tank, because it, it is very, um, I don't know, I, it just reminds me of, like, I went to this Mexican restaurant one time, like, in my na you know, my neighborhood. It's Where like is me, this going? <laughs> me and my my then-girlfriend and, like, her friends, we all went out to eat there, and they were watching uh -huh. soccer. Like, it's a Mexican place. You know, uh -huh. sometimes you go to a Mexican place, it's for white people. No, this is places for, and we went in there, and everyone's like, what the fuck, white people? Gringo. Yeah, right. And then they were like, because there was a big screen TV, and there was soccer playing. They kind of like looked around, like, "What do we put on?" And then it's put on Shark Tank. <laughs> like, we know what white people. All right, everyone, chill. Calm down. Comete, Javier. No we more got Mark this. Cuban. No more Mark Cuban. <laughs> That's what they thought. The white people love to watch. White I, people I, get I had money. A, I binged Shark Tank for a while, dude. There was a time where that was all I watched, and I was like, I gotta think of something, dude. What was your idea? Uh, my idea when I was younger was. Uh, 
lids for cans. <laughs> no, it's good. I don't know why it made me laugh. It is good. No, I had to think about it. Like something that went in here and then closed right. it so it wouldn't get. Yeah, fuck. If, God damn, my can's wide open. And once it's open, it's always open. Yeah. Fuck. And they invented that. Oh. Some fucking schlub. But I've never seen someone use it, though. It's never been used. <laughs> it's, it's never been bought. No, I just drink. It's going to take me 20, about maybe maybe 10 minutes to drink this yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. But I thought, you know, I was onto something. I'm trying to think if I had any invention ideas. I thought maybe like um, like Shazam, but like for people's faces. Like I'd be like, like oh, at a party. At a party. You're yeah. like, fine, I don't know this guy's name. And you're like, Shazam. Or um, I don't know, it would be called um, Shahu. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> Shahu is uh, Shahu is, <laughs> and then it would pop up, and then you would say, "Oh, it's fucking the guy Greg from work, right? Was, yeah, Greg's cousin, or Greg, whatever. Greg, Greg Richardson." And then you, maybe there's like some stats about him. Yeah, he's loves a dick. Po- he's loves, a, loves, <laughs> loves poker. He's a dick. Yeah, it's very he's editorial. Into foreign, foreign exchange. Yeah. Forex. He's not a good guy. I think that's a good, but I, you can do that. You didn't even need too much technology. And In five years, they could do that. With all the data that we've given them, that's everyone's true. face has been scanned by something. Would well, you see that? Yeah, well, TikTok apparently is going to be... The, Banned. The, uh, the, It'll they have never to, happen. No, they have to introduce it. Uh, they're introducing the legislation. A bill. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to happen. But it might. I mean... For those of you that don't know what's happening... Yes. Tell us about it, Peter. Uh, I think Marco Rubio and a few other congressmen are trying to introduce a bill that would uh, eliminate TikTok from like app stores in the United States. In the United States because they think we're giving too much information to China. I mean, we are. I we mean, are. That is, that is what's happening. But, yeah. I mean, what are they going to... I mean, for me personally... What are you gonna get from me? You like? Are we gonna find out about me that I like what to are you do characters? Use? Oh yeah, like I do. Yeah, they do a funny voice, or I watch videos where women are moving a little yeah. more. You know yeah. what I mean? That I sue me. Yeah, that I you know, I like it when ladies don't wear bras. All right, what are, where are you gonna do what that? Are you gonna do with that? You info? gonna show me more videos of that? Don't oh, do that. Don't do that, China. Fuck, man. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> if you're listening, don't show me videos yeah. of women. It dancing. makes me sick. I hate it. But um, yeah, and then uh, <laughs> but I had a thought about uh, TikTok and like sometimes they'll have uh, people who are infirmed or have like these physical disabilities and they get these like huge views and I was like oh it's like the like the freak show never really went away. like this is kind of where it is now like yeah. they control themselves like they that which is good like they're not like um, controlled by another person like PT Barnum or something like you have to go here yeah, so they have circus. control of their They've seized the means of production, I guess. I like that. Which That's is nice. It is nice, but it's also strange. Like exploiting yourself a little bit, you know. It hasn't. It, I don't think it's completely harmless. Or people like. I think the freak show now. The price of admission is you have to be nice, or at least pretend to be nice. Yeah. So like you can't be like what freak. You have to be like. Yes, like yeah. whether you mean it or not. But that's the way. That's that's the price of admission is that you have to. Be, like, be positive. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way to do, the, you know, guys like a, a arm growing out of his chest, and you're like, I wish. Yeah. I wish I had an arm like that coming <laughs> out of my chest, and that's how you get to keep watching. I I once uh, someone posted <laughs> that song that I did, the coincidence, and uh-huh. he was a special needs kid, and he was dancing, and it was beautiful. It nice. made me so happy, and I reposted it, and I was like. Uh, Way to go. Uh, this is so amazing or something. And I got all these DMs like, okay. why is this amazing? The special needs people oh. are, can do great things too. And I was like, <laughs> what? Come on. That is not what I meant. I meant it's it's cute and, and beautiful. And, you know, and I took it down because I got so many people being like. Wait, so really? There were that yeah. many people who were upset that you were shining a light? On yes. This- mentally disabled boy dancing yes they were like he is not he i don't know what they're arguing this was. sucks actually to yeah. treat him like an equal you should be saying oh you could, you could work a little harder on the dance that's what i was doing i was i thought it was nice and i was posting it and and uh it's uh, actually the progressive thing would would, would be to ignore him or delete the video <laughs> report it 
Why are you reporting this? Bad dancing? Bad dancing. Mostly bad, um, <laughs> a bad homage. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's stupid. I think he's, I think he's, that's a nice thing. He was probably thrilled. The kid was probably like ecstatic. Like, oh, this that's is the what guy. I thought. He's the guy and he reposted it. You weren't like, LOL, no. fucking look at this. No, no. I was like, isn't this amazing? I think that's what I said. Isn't this amazing? Wow. And people were like, why is this amazing? He's capable of, and I was like, Jesus <laughs> fucking. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, I will never. And that from that day forward, and, and, and at least you've re- remained consistent. You have never shared another video of someone who has special needs ever again. I'm scared to. <laughs> I want to. I want to. But I just then, from then on, look yeah. what you did, Internet. Look what you and Matt did. Matt loved doing that. Look what you did, Internet. But don't you feel like that's true, though? Like, I don't know. Oh, you know, so it's, um, I'll, I'll see sometimes, <laughs> it's so crazy. Like on TikTok, they'll have like lives. Uh-huh. And then there's like a live of like this guy praying over his like sick kid, but it's like a staged. So like the kid has like fucking AirPods up his nose and he's like, like this, like kind of pretending to be asleep. And uh-huh. he says, you see the dad being like, please, please, please. Uh, your algorithm is weird, dude. You've never seen that? No. I, you know what it was? I think I stayed on it too long, so I was laughing so hard. But it was just such a good scam. They're just like you just put a sick kid in front of the, and you're like, just please, and it's. Uh, and then people like, oh comment. my god, help this man, please. Share his uh, GoFundMe or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And the that, kids go. The, the kid parent. looks healthy. Yeah, he's a very, very healthy boy. Can I tell you? Speaking of church, holy shit! This is the craziest thing that ever happened to me in my whole life, dude. Whoa! Yeah, we were going to this church in Pennsylvania when I lived there briefly, and uh, it was a fucked up church because the parents claimed that this little girl of theirs had cancer. Okay. Raised like one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Wow. And I went. I played with her one day at church, and I said, "Mommy, I don't think she's sick." Mom and my mom, my mom grabbed me. She said, "Shut the fuck! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! What are you saying? That don't say that crazy shit." Of course she's sick. Of course she's sick. The parents are fucking. Came out a year and a half later. The Munchausen 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 by syndrome by proxy. They completely lied about this girl having cancer. Shaved her head. Damn. Fucking wild shit. And they got and they got buco cash. I mean, they, cash they, they. I mean, I'm sure they're in jail now, but. Living it up though, they lived it up for a little while. What made what gave it away? I don't remember. That she wasn't sick. You were, she, you guys, she threw the ball a little too hard, and you're like, that's not how. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, that's not how a girl. That's not she how had a girl. A three, <laughs> the yeah. buzzer. Yeah. I don't know, ma. <laughs> that's on the Fisher Price set. Yeah, she's just fucking. She's got a mean jump shot for someone who's sick. She runs very fast. <laughs> she beat me in a race, mom. And your mom, and your mom, like that's sweet. You let her win. It's like I was trying real. I, I no, was I trying lost. my hardest, and she's a girl <laughs> with leukemia. Yeah, leukemia allegedly. Fucked up, dude. Wow, that is kind of crazy. They they raised a lot of money though, just yeah. for the girl. Just for the girl. Wow. Yeah, it could have been more than I'm saying. Even I don't know. I have to check with my mom. But maybe I should have a kid <laughs> for scams like that. No. Peter, that could, why not? Because you know what? What is it? like? It's kind of right because the parents are smart. You have the little kid have cancer, and you go, "This, this little, there's, there's no, no way. way they would lie about How this. How could you do that? What kind of monster?" And you're like, "Right, I would Me, never. I'm the monster." <laughs> and then you just collect money, uh huh. And then you you just leave. They should have taken off, is what they should have done. Yeah, get they didn't out. stick around. For, they should have ran to South they America hung, or they, something. They stayed in the same town. No, they're yeah, in jail. Was, I'm sorry, they're in jail. They got to be in jail. That's uh, very legal. I feel like you're there in jail, but not for not for as long as you think. No, you're probably right. For a scam like that, you do a couple of years, but they make you they take all the money, don't they? Why? Because it's illegal activity. I mean, it's like illegal. I mean, they, it's under it's still a donation. I mean, it was under false pretense, maybe. But how are you going to recoup that money? Yeah, maybe you're or right. If you sell it, you just declare bankruptcy. There's a lot of ways around it. These people seem to be shrewd, so I don't think. Let's yeah. have a couple kids. Right. Yeah. We can be like our sick boys. No, <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> We're trying to make it to episode five. <laughs> God damn it. We did a bad job on this episode <laughs> trying to keep it to number five. Listen, it's going to get to number five. It is. It's always darkest before the dawn. And that's what I'm going to tell my fake sick kids. <laughs> 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 so oh, that's what God. I, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. That's my plan. Oh, my God. You're, <laughs> you're a sicko. You're sick. 
Um, why was that it? Is that are we are we done for the fourth episode? I feel like we should keep talking about it. no, no. Okay, we'll move on. We'll move on. Everyone yeah. gets weird. Everyone gets weird. It's PC world. Oh, here we go. <laughs> We've made it four episodes without talking about the PC world that we live in. The woke mind virus. They're I'm coming sick of after it. us. I'm so These sick. These fucking woke mobs <laughs> are coming after us, and they're not letting us say what's on our minds. Okay, but where's the lie? It's bullshit. I should be allowed to say whatever I want on stage. It's comedy. Right. It is. And let Go the- fuck your mother. I'm not even <laughs> talking about Jews that much. A little. A little. I said one or two, three things about them. So what? Sue me. I'm a comedian. I have 400 followers on Instagram. <laughs> screaming in my mother's basement about fucking meatloaf. The, the woke mind virus. Oh, my God. Those people are, those are the worst people. They are annoying. It was cool seeing Elon Musk get booed. Uh, I Chappelle. didn't see it. Is there a video? Oh, yeah. Where is it? It's online? Uh, it's on uh, Twitter. Yeah. He just, Chappelle brings him, back, brings him out and then yeah. he just gets booed. Good. There were some cheers and then he tried to talk and then he... <laughs> You, you can. Ha- it's just amazing. You could have that, like three hundred billion dollars, and you're still a herb. Yeah, you know he is. A you herb. can't buy. He tried to say I'm rich, bitch, and he. I guess he got stage fright or something. And he said I'm rick, bitch, and you're like you're a no fuck, way. I swear to God, and you're a loser. <laughs> he's, you're a loser. He's the definition of a herb, right? You, you have three hundred thirty billion dollars, and you're still a herb. Herb is kind of a New York word, also. It is. It is. People don't know what a herb is uh, outside of New York. I don't think it's like a ween. It's worse than a weenie. It is a weenie. It's the same. It's, it's similar. It's the same as a weenie. Yeah, they're on the same. But weenie doesn't hurt your feelings as much as herb. Herb is like weenie's like, oh, you're being a weenie. Herb is like, dude, you fucking suck. (laughs) Elon Musk, you're a fucking herb. Yeah, like you're a loser. Like there's no better. Yeah, like herb and narc. Like it's a similar. Like it's like a wanting to be cool and failing. Failing. That's like that's that's some herb behavior. Yeah. Um. Did you ever have a herb? Do you know what a herb circle is? Did you guys have herb circles? What's that? (laughs) It's when. So when you just uh, you you make a circle and then all of a sudden you push your friend in the circle and then he gets pushed around by everybody. And no, I love that. Yeah, you're a herb. You're, you're a, a herb. herb circle. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's what happens. That's like kill the carrier. You ever play that one? Wow, I haven't thought about that in a while. Yeah, it's basically rugby, isn't it? It no. was whoever you decided was the one with the ball ran around the field and you just fucking punished them, dude. Yeah, I think- tackled them, hit them. Do whatever the fuck you want to the carrier. Yeah. Kill the carrier was a great game that I sucked at because I was so little. Yeah, and then but I feel like you get older and you're like, that was dumb. Yeah, I don't want to. What if I just? Get, what if I'm not the yeah. carrier? Yeah, why don't I just give you the ball? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like no, no, no. Like this doesn't seem like a, a game. It was like a pride thing though. Yeah, no, I could take. Oh, it. herb is such a good word that I don't use enough, dude. I love it. I love the word you're herb. You're being a fucking herb. You're dude. being a herb right now, especially yeah, Elon Musk is a herb. Yeah. Um, who else is a herb? It runs the gamut. Oh, you know what we should do? We should do like Herb of the Week. Herb of the Week. Wow. I love that. That's a pretty good idea. That's a great idea. Who are you giving it to? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I feel like yeah. it's the, because it's the first one. Yeah. But fuck, you are the Herb. Like, you are the, the Herb, herb of, the of the Week, week dude. To I mean, say I'm I'm Rick. Rick, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if you just like, I'm Rick, Rick. You know, like. <laughs> you might as well have. <laughs> yeah, might as well have said that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. And then, um, yeah, he's like, he kind of was flummoxed. Like uh, he came out. Yeah. And then he was getting booed and Dave Chappelle was like trying to be like making some jokes. And and then uh, Elon's like, well, 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 um, well, what do I say, Dave? And Dave's like, you don't say anything. Yeah, it was. Um, I'll I don't check know it out. It's, yeah, I'll it's check it out. out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, should we be done? I don't know. What, what, what are we at? 47. Yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah, that's good. Go check uh, out that clip. Check out the clip of uh, Elon Musk being a herb. Herb alert. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube, please. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, tweet, Touch. Yelp if you're a weirdo. Do whatever you got to do. Kiss. Touch. S- mm. Smell. Yeah. Um, thank you for listening. I'm Matt Pavich. I'm Peter Ravello. And this was Two Bros. Peace out. Two Bros. Two Bros. I got to get better at saying that. <laughs>